and the annual celebration of the mainstream African music through all African Music Awards is here again. And Lagos is already bubbling in anticipation of the event. So on our spotlight today, we have Mike Dada, the creator of the Pan-African Awards, giving details about the upcoming installment. It's that time of the year again when excellence in African music is rewarded. It's the fourth installment of the African Union's All African Music Awards holding in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. Behind the glitz and glamour around the prestigious celebration is Mike Dada, whose careful planning and execution birthed this celebration every year. According to him, the Afrima was created to become a tool that uses a platform of music to communicate Africa to the world and create a renaissance of the African identity. Right from time memorial, music has been the greatest probable value. And um, the power of music uh, uh, cannot uh, be uh, definitely over quantified in terms of what, what the role music plays, in terms of uh, as a PR tool, communication tool, and as an economic tool as well. Uh, especially when you look at or you consider the digital era where that has disrupted and changed uh, the way we operate, the way we eat, the way we relate with each other. Even the music industry, uh, the way we listen to music, the way we listen to songs, where we listen to them and all of that. So uh, you'll agree with me that music can be a very huge tool for PR. has been done, like you said, in, in Hollywood, in America, in Europe, in UK and, uh, and the rest. And on the other hand, it's an economic tool as well. After three successive editions in Lagos, the general expectation was that the award ceremony would move to another African city. Earlier in the year, the African Union AFRIMA admitted to have received interest from six African countries, South Africa, Morocco, Ghana, Ethiopia and Kenya. Surprisingly, the award ceremony is retained in Lagos. One, two. From Afrima Shatter, a country has a right to host Afrima for a time. A time is three years, I wish of course Nigeria had its own fair share. However, such country has a right to reapply for another time. After, which, after the exclusion of that time, it must move to another country. So Nigeria explored the opportunity of another time when the federal government wrote to the African Union to a demanding for or competing for another time. And out of which, the AU granted that a request and that prayer of Nigeria. And that led to being that Afrima given to Nigeria, to back to Nigeria again. African music is already getting global attention. Artists from Nigeria, Ghana and South Africa have already received awards from international academies, including the BET and MTV. However, some other African countries are not heavy on promoting their songs outside their borders, hence it's almost impossible for songs from such regions to compete against already popular tracks from heavy music countries like Nigeria and South Africa. First and foremost, music is a universal weapon, it's a, it's a, it's a universal um, element, um, regardless of where you come from. Music is music and it's powerful. Do you understand my point? So what we have, I mean, for us, we there's what we call, we have a, a value system called FACET, Fairness, Authenticity, Creativity, Excellence, Integrity, and Transparency. Uh, we've been fair in our assessment and judgment. And uh, we do not know, we don't know names or colors. What we know is good music, as defined by the people, as defined by our jury. And of course, we throw it open to the people to vote and decide what will be the winner. And be shocked that people are not being put and uh, you understand? The, the, the vote on the basis of the quality of music. Multiple award-winning American singer with roots from Senegal, Akon, has an announcer's host for this edition. Although an American, Akon's interest in Nigerian and African music goes beyond lip service. He has collaborated with Nigerian act and only recently signed on Nigerian singer and music producer Sam Clef on his Convict Music imprint. First of all, you're the type of woman that stays on my mind. Walk down the street, every guy wanna jump on your behind. We are only careful because every element of Afrima is discussed by international committee and um, uh, by the critical stakeholders. And uh, because each year we 
we come and show for us and no sense that really we identify with the vision, the philosophy of the Afrima itself. It's a celebration of African music. Afrima is a celebration of African artists. It has established your upcoming. And so it's a celebration of Africa itself. So it's our biggest festival, biggest party for Africa as a race. So, and the lovers of Africa are that. So we always look for the best, and we always look for people who identifies with Africa, who eats Africa, who want to see better and bigger Africa, uh, who sees the future Africa in themselves. And, and Akon personifies those traits. Uh, and his international is, is one of the biggest stars uh, that has come out of this continent. And he's, though he's an, an African-American, but you can you agree with me that he loves Africa unless he comes home, he comes back home. So, uh, it's the decision that we took. We are here at the vanguard of agitating and canvassing for uh, a warm passport on the continent. Uh, we've been canvassing for uh, that the borders and restrictions and immigration laws among African countries, between African countries, should be relaxed so that we can trade and do more businesses together. For instance, for some of the art artists or nominees coming to Nigeria, they need to travel to Africa before they can get a flight to come to Lagos. You understand my point? So it's very difficult and tedious. Why not get a direct flight, you understand, from your city to a city in, in Africa? You understand? It's more difficult to, it's less difficult to travel to Europe, you understand, than coming travel within African countries. So those are, those are restrictions, those are inbuilt factors that have continued to uh, drag us back rather than moving forward as Africans. We need to trade more together. For instance, when an artist releases an album, uh, the artist needs to promote in the country, maybe for a year, in Nigeria for instance, um, before the other artist goes around the countries in Africa, that will be about four or five years. So we'll be playing for an album. So it doesn't need to travel to Europe or America. So you understand, if those um, get visa on arrival, those immigration restrictions are relaxed, uh, we'll be able to trade more, and that's implication, and that's, that's implication on the economics of Africa itself. Entertainment news on channels television goes on a short break now and when we return we'll bring you some more from the showbiz world. Don't go away. <laughs>